Welcome to Custom Chronicles. My name is Rod, and let me show you the project that we're going to be working on. This go-kart. It's a Coyote Race go-kart. Came into my hands, uh, basically as a cheap trade. And this is what we're going to be working on. Now let me tell you about this thing. We are not going to keep a Harbor Freight motor on it. We're going to get this thing painted up. The discussion was to take this chassis, get that not red. We got to get some side body work here. You know, go through and fix this stuff up or replace it. We're going to do a golf library scheme on it. That's the ideal. And we're going to just kind of get into it. And we're going to go around the shop also and start showing some of these other projects that are going on. And I uh, got a BSA motorcycle sitting here, 1971, we're going to get restored. And uh, this project here, I got, I was supposed to keep doing weekly updates on it, but I've been a miserable failure at that, but we're working on it. And uh, there's some other things floating around. We're going to start showing all this stuff and go through and see what you guys like to actually see. And uh, that's it for uh, this little segment, and we'll get into it some more. Yeah, I started messing around with this fan blade and did a little bit of pin striping. This has been one of those things that's been hanging around. It started on it a long time ago. And uh, I'm finally getting around to finishing it up. I'm tired of looking at it unfinished. We're going to do some pleats up in here. Obviously, just did the pin striping. And I got to do some borderline here and uh, get it done. It's an interesting little project. And... You know, I do these kind of things just to play around and keep my uh, skills going because a lot of times I don't get to do this every day. So, um, anyways, uh, that's just a brief uh, overview of that. I'll try to show when it's done. All right, here's the tunnel. I'm going to get this welded in. It's, it seems to be that nobody really cares about the restoration process, but I'm going to keep going on about it just a little bit just briefly uh try to keep this some sort of interest in it but uh the tunnel that was cut out i'm going to put back in i happen to have this spare tunnel piece right here i want to get that in i want to start prepping that out and start rebuilding that and it's going to be a stick shift car it's originally isn't but it's going to be turned into one and that's where we're at on that and I'll pull the dash out, get the windshield. This hood's going to be coming off. Yeah, I've got the back seat. I'm going to rebuild that. It's rusted out. And unfortunately, I got a donor seat, so I'm going to make one good seat out of the two. And uh, that's all I'm going to show for this for right now. And that's part of the, we'll say, the weekly update. All right. I'm starting to get the tunnel in and getting the prep done. It fits pretty decent. I got to cut it and obviously weld it. But uh, next time you see this, it'll all be welded up. And all the sheet metal will be in. And that's uh, going to be my weekly update for now on the 68 Barracuda Convertible. There's the tunnel. Uh, just about done. I got a little gap right here and I got a piece over there. But I uh, got the replacement for it. This gap there, I got to find some good sheet metal to put in there because I'm using all original. This is got a little spot right here. Yeah, not too much. This isn't a big deal at this point. We're going to get this uh, straightened up. I'm leaving the dash and the steering column in so I can steer the car and move it easier. Uh, that just popped. But anyways, uh, that's it for now on this. Now we're back to this fan blade project that's been sitting around for years. I'm going to get all the artwork finished and where we're going to do it is right up here. We're going to be putting pleats in up here and I'm going to show that whole process. And what I have here is I got marks on these points and then every quarter inch there's a line there and that's where the pleats are going to be. I'm going to have pleats going this way, this way and then in and then in. And I'm hoping that it creates a good effect. If not, I'll just always repaint it. It's not real big of a deal. But I'm going to go ahead time-lapse going through the pleats. 
and uh, hopefully it's uh, interesting enough to watch. All right, that's it for now. I'm going to get to the time lapsing. All right, there's the pleats, the first uh, batch. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Obviously, mirror image is opposite, and then I'm gonna cut them in going this way. And uh, I'm not gonna time lapse all that, I just wanted to kind of show that real quick, and that's what it looks like, and I'll show the final product. And uh, that's it for now. All right, here we go. This is the finished product with all the pleats on it. You see how this kind of developed with all this. And we're just going to get this thing untaped. And uh, I'll show it here in a minute. And uh, that's it. Pretty much this one's sewed up other than doing clear. And uh, I'll just kind of show it untaped and that'll be the end of this one. And here it is. Untaped, but not cleared. It's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. That fluorescent tube is really showing up in the paint, but it is what it is. All right, here's the saw blade that's gonna get pinstriped on it. I got it laid out. It's kind of hard to see, but there's little lines here. And these are my guides because I'm gonna repeat the pattern three times on here. And right around the edge, same thing. It's basically every inch, so I'll create these circles and then I can replicate the artwork in each section. They all tie together. And I'm thinking of what I want to do is, is if I can get 100 subscribers up on the YouTube channel, I'll give a saw blade out. I'll just send one out. I'll do a, a special saw blade on a video. Get that sent out. Just kind of uh, as gratitude for people even paying attention. And then uh, we'll go from there. We'll see if it happens. And uh, that's it on this one. And then over here, I've got this planter that's been sitting around the shop. I've done already done some video of uh, doing the flake up here on the, the cups, which are the flowers. And we got these leaves. i find a better background. Man, let's see, it really isn't a good background. But there's these leaves. They're going to get flaked out green. The vine will be green. And then all the square iron is going to go brown so what we're going to do with that is try to get this finished up here in the next few days because it's been hanging around the shop forever also so we're kind of knocking out some of these projects and um, that's basically it for right now now we got the first color stripe laid out and you can kind of see how this is starting to work and we'll get into doing that i'll probably time lapse that as well um but anyways that's the first color and now you can kind of see how i do these repetitive patterns on these circle you know projects so i'm going to get into it All right, there's the first color, chartreuse neon. I kind of like to throw in the bright pop color, the, the color that jumps out. I'm real happy with it so far. I'm gonna move into this orange, which goes good with the root beer you know, candy that's there. And uh, I'll time lapse that too, but I'm gonna get the, the graphics drawn out real quick, or the pattern. All right, I got the patterns drawn out. And we're going to time lapse the next color, which is going to be the orange. We're going to get into it.
All right, now that's the second color on there. That's the orange. It's a little bit darker. And it goes with the root beer. I'm going to get the peach on, which is a little bit lighter. And keep adding the detail. There's the peach, it's all finished up. But now I'm gonna put a color in there that doesn't really belong. Green, neon green. And that's gonna be my uh, really super pop color that uh, is part of my style, is I'll do uh, things like that, like throwing the colors just kind of off base. And I it tends to work for me, so uh, until it doesn't, I'm gonna keep doing it. But uh, let me get into doing that, get that finished up, and then this saw blade will be done. Other than all right, there's the final saw blade artwork. It's all finished, and uh, all I got to do is put it in the clear. After that, a little buff. But that's all I'm going to show on this, kind of the process of it. That's all.